for their recent planning activities, they the TCA either inadvertently or on purpose, it's unclear, has reopened a, a number of project decisions that the OCTA board has already made through our South County Major Investment Study or through your long range transportation planning process and or promised new activities or projects that um, again, have already been screened out. So that has created some of the confusion. And, you know, perhaps the TCA has been, you know, its best self-fulfilling prophecy that the 241 won't get extended. They haven't built a road in 20 years. And it, it, what would be better? Is 30 a better number? I don't know. Maybe, maybe 40. And the real question is, what are they doing focused on all this other stuff? I mean, what, what is wrong with this agency that they cannot get focused? The one task that they were... That they, they were tasked with completing has completely befuddled them for 20 years. They spent $210 million in advocacy. Let that sink in for a minute, right? The definition of insanity is what exactly? Doing the same thing over. The same group of people, same thing. This is an endless slot machine. And like the high speed rail, I guarantee you, there is a small core of people that are 100% for continuing this, and they're all getting paid. It's um, it's offensive. They repeatedly have proven they are tone deaf, they don't learn lessons, and they are clearly not focused on completing their task and not capable of completing their task. So whatever the outcome is, if we want a 241, help me understand if 20 years isn't the answer. When do we finally say, you know, you are not the group that's best suited to do this? I mean, an extraordinary mission creep when they start getting into the five freeway, what was the TCA created to do? And what, if anything, does that have to do with the five freeway other than tying in south of San Clemente? I mean, nothing. They're not Caltrans. They're not the regional transit agency. But when you tell them this, they don't want to hear it. And this is a, unfortunately, a misbehaving child and we've talked to them, and we're just going to have to start taking some privileges away. Knowing that the things they've tried to do to take over this agency's responsibility, it's our responsibility to make sure that these projects don't get into this morass and let someone totally incapable of running a project touch any of these things. How, how, many, how many miles of roadway have we built or have under construction on the freeway system in the last eight years, Mr. Johnson? Uh, since 1991, we've spent about $12 billion. In the last decade, it's been about $2 billion and probably... With another $2 billion to go uh, on the books with Mr. Beal, formerly from Caltrans, you know, leading the effort. You know, if, if there's going to be a road built, who, who realistically should be building the road in Orange County from a government standpoint? Who hasn't built any road in 20 years? This whole thing makes no sense. And if TCA was capable of doing this, at least they would have focused their last 20 years on planning, not consultants, not road buildings. They haven't had a road to build. They would have focused on how to cobble together a team to plan this roadway and pick a route. And all they've done is make enemies and invigorate them. And that is not a winning combination for anyone, not, not for the citizens, not for our agency, not for people in San Diego and Orange County trying to traverse. It's just an embarrassment. Thank you. Ed. So I just want to report that revenues are up uh, 15 percent. Um, That's his toll road. That's my toll road. Mine was up nine. <laughs> See, these are metrics. These are things. I love this stuff. Um, yeah, but the, the big, that's like four more parts. <laughs> you charge more. That's very true. <laughs> this is a complete waste of time. We went there and talked about tolling and all this other nonsense. This agency runs the 91 freeway. Kirk and his team do a great job. We spend 15 minutes a year. That's how long it takes to be in the property management business of a toll road. Yet they have two boards that meet constantly, talk about nothing, get zero done, and just churn a bunch of fees, spend a bunch of money on consultants, and have nothing to show for it except for angry residents and lawsuits. You're absolutely right, and the two gentlemen that spoke earlier were correct, and that it is a tolling agency, and that was its primary purpose. Is that have been improved around the Rancho Mission VAO plan. Las Patronas was part of that program that's opened. OCTA helped fund a significant portion of La Pata. Yeah. 
and the board directed us to finish the widening of, of Ortega. So I think, I don't speak on behalf of the ranch, but I think they understand what the roadway network is there and from their housing perspective. But Right, and that's a very polite way of saying, well, <laughs> I mean, we all get what he means. Um, anyone that cares to be uh, bored with the TCA finance uh, issue, I'd be happy to stick around afterwards, but let's not go there for, for now. Um, the I'll just leave you with this. They did not have to refinance uh, two billion dollars in refinancing, and the and the roads would have been available to the public for free. I think now within ten years, the 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 main thrust, the argument when I was in the room to that we absolutely have to refinance these roads is because they weren't meeting their debt covenant, and they wouldn't be able to finance the two forty one. So now that the public is thirty years away from ever driving on those roads for free because of this completely made up reason. Uh, because if they ever actually got through the 241, I, actually everyone I talked to that would had Wall Street connections to transportation funding said that would fund itself. I mean, that's where all the traffic is. So you, it, would, it would be irrelevant. It would be a standalone. And now you have all this debt. You have no ability for your residents. I mean, they're my friends, but they're your residents. Drive these roads for free. And it's all because they refined and they didn't need to. They had no and obligation to meet their debt covenants. Is. That's what the risk is when you issue the bond issuance. You know, that, that's what the whole calculation is based on. And there was no obligation for the agency to max out their credit card. Um, you know, worse, the bonds uh, sell at a discount because they're distressed. I and mean, that happens every day. And, uh, you know, could have could have happened again. But the residents' chance to get what they were promised, which was those free roads, was lost because of of total fiction. Mismanagement. And, and clearly they haven't built the road. I mean, that, that, that sales pitch was... You know, Pat Bates was still on the board then. It was probably five years ago, maybe four. Yeah. You know, four, four years in and just uh, extended the life and paying a lot of fees and not sure what we got out of that. But uh, 